I worked with John, the bass player uh, from Wilco, on some of that swag stuff too. And I worked with um, Jay Bennett, who's since passed away, who was the guitar player or multi instrumentalist for Wilco, and uh, and got to be know all of them fairly well. And then um, Wilco was out with Cheryl Crow opening up for her, and they decided um, that they were going to make their next record instead of blocking out six weeks. They were going to make their next record while on the road with her. And anytime they had a couple of days off, they were going to rent a local studio or, or whatever and record. And, um, and they had a few days off in Nashville. And Ken was suggested to the band, hey, my friend Russ has a studio at the White House. That would be a great place for us to record. And, um, uh, and a couple of the guys already knew me and were like, oh, yeah, that'd be great. So anyway, it, it happened. And so that was it. They had a few days off. We recorded... Um, at the White House, and and I was a fan of the band already. I mean, I knew Ken, but I, I would, was a big fan. I was a fan of Sunvolt, Uncle Tupelo, all those. I mean, that's my yeah. favorite kind of music. And uh, um, so I was really excited about him being uh, being there. And I remember um, we had strict no smoking policy in the studio. And um, I remember that somehow there's all of a sudden four guys smoking inside this studio and I remember calling up Steve because Steve was like if anybody smokes in here you'll smell it for six months we cannot let anybody smoke and I remember calling up Steve and going uh, I'm going to break the smoking rule for today just so you know I got Wilco here and um, <laughs> and, um, so, uh, <laughs> just for today so uh, anyway okay. they recorded and they smoked and um, <laughs> and uh, but then we uh, we did s- several songs but they did, I can't remember, they did, I mean, Ken told me, I mean, I think, I think they did 30 songs or something over the yeah. period of the tour. So I'm just like, oh, gee, please, one of these songs or some of these songs or whatever, make it a, and um, parts of a couple of them in one full song is what ended up um, being on there. But I was just pretty dang excited that something yeah. made, the, made the record, so. Mm-hmm. 